In the mail today, we have a bunch of parts from LCSC. They reached out to me and asked if I had any projects in mind that I could use some parts for. So, yes, of course I do. They sent me all the parts in here at no cost to try out their service. So let's look inside, see what I ordered, take a look at some of the parts on the website, some data sheets to see what they are, and then let's put some of these parts on this board, build a boost converter and see how the parts work. I'll fully assemble this board and go through what it's for in a future video. We have bubble wrapped anti-static bags of components. There's two bags of parts. When we go to the LCSC website, we can browse by component types, take a look at any deals, promotions, and LCSC provided me with a link for you guys. If you want to place an order, you can save $8 off. That link will be in the description. So let's say we want to search for an LED. We can scroll down to light emitting diodes. Then we get our parametric search. And it may not have everything like forward voltage of the LED, but just to get started, let's say we know we want an 0805 because we're going to hand solder it and we want it to be big enough to work with. And we know the color we want is going to be yellow and we want to see things in stock. So apply filters, sort by price, and we can just look around, see what's here. Let's say we click on a part to get more info. We have access to the data sheet, which is convenient. So we can double check anything that might be of interest to us. And we can see the price in different quantities that we can purchase. So if we want to buy 50, each one is going to be 1.7 cents. We also get to see a picture including this scale reference here so we can see it's a couple of millimeters. And a feature that I made use of is this customer number for some of the parts. So let's say we're ordering things for a specific project. I can call this LED Chaser and it's going to be Silkscreen Reference Designator D3. So this will get printed on the label that the parts come with in addition to the manufacturer and other info. So I can just quickly look and find the project parts I want and then I'll know exactly where they go on the board or whatever else I want to write on here. MT3608, AP3012, and MP3414. DC to DC boost converters. Looking at some of the specific parts I ordered, one of them is the MT3608 and this is a chip on one of the boost converter boards I have. And I like how it works, so I thought I would order some of these for a couple of projects in the future. But I couldn't even find this chip in the usual places I would search. But LCSC has over 58,000 in stock, and when you buy them in quantity 5, they're just under 8 cents each. I placed my order with DHL shipping, and it took only two days to get here. I ordered Wednesday, it got here the Friday. But sometimes DHL may be too expensive, so... There's always the regular airmail if you're not in a hurry. So looking at the data sheet, 2 amp step up converter, the input can be 2 volts to 24 volts, and the output can be up to 28. And there's an idea of what the package looks like and what size it is in millimeters. Another DC to DC converter, one of these was almost 30 cents. And the reason I wanted this, when I looked down here at the specs, the input minimum voltage, this is good for running on a single AA or AAA battery where I can use it down below 1 volt and still be able to power a 3.3 volt circuit. So this may be put to use in a future project. So these are female 0.1 inch headers and they are a specific length for the board that I will be working on soon. And those will go right here. And I could have taken longer female headers and just cut them off and then tried to file them down if I didn't want extra pieces sticking out. But I thought it would be better to have the factory edges for this kind of project. So I just thought I'd get the proper length headers. These are shrouded 2x3 headers. And the silk screen on this footprint shows it should go like this. 
So the connector needs more room around those actual pins for the shroud. So I was able to place parts right up to this connector. Then some regular male 0.1 inch headers. We know what those look like. And these through hole switches. These are momentary push buttons and you can put a plastic cap on here. So at some point I may do a project where I want to just trigger some GPIOs or something to do maybe trigger sound effects or switch between modes of something. So I got a couple of those just to have. So these were 7.38 cents each, although they are low current. So we have to make sure we're just doing a small load circuit. 30 volts at 100 milliamps, according to the data sheet. And I got 500k and 1 meg pots, but I liked these because they have a small form factor like this, but you don't need the tiny screwdriver if you just want to quickly change it. Otherwise, you need something big like this. So I thought that's a good compromise when I need a small form factor like this, but I don't want to have to go get a screwdriver and the regular potentiometers are way too huge. So I got a couple of these and these are 24 cents each. And next, all kinds of resistors and capacitors. I didn't realize I ordered so many. I bought several values of 0402 resistors, quantity 100 of 1K, 4.75K, 59K, 91K, and 10.5K. So some of these are just standard things for designs like this. If you need a pull up or something or an LED current limit resistor and it's not critical. And some of these are more specific like switching regulator voltage output setting. Some through hole ceramics for breadboard work. 47 nano, 220 nano, 100 nano, 22 nano, and 10 nano. Some nice breadboard friendly capacitors. 50 of them for 29 cents. I needed a few surface mount, so I got 100 nano 0402, 22 micro 0805, they had to be a bigger package to work with, and a 4.7 micro 0805. So these are more like input and output filtering capacitors for switching regulators and your standard 100 nano decoupling capacitor. And a bunch of electrolytic through holes. 2.2 millifarads, 1 micro, 10 micro, 8.2, 4700 micro, 22 millifarads, 4.7 micro. I wanted to get some bigger value capacitors for things like hold up capacitance circuits. Store a bunch of charge and use it from the capacitor if main power goes away, things like that. Here's a 1 micro. 50 of these, 33.5 cents. 4,700 micro, 14 and a half cents. I wanted a bunch of different colored LEDs for various projects. Yellow, orange, green, and red. So this one is a red 0603. 50 of these, 61 cents. USB micro connectors. These are 7.3 three cents each when you buy five of them. I was thinking if I do a board where I either just want five volt USB power or even if I want to actually use the USB data connectivity, it would be nice to have some of these on hand. For some switching regulator experiments, we have some power inductors, 22 microhenry and 10 microhenry. Here's a 22 microhenry power inductor I needed, 10 cents each. Rated for 1.5 amps, that should be more than enough for anything I need. 16 megahertz ceramic resonators, little surface mount package, 28 cents. So if I'm going to do a circuit with an Arduino on board, maybe I can put that USB connector to use and try this 16 megahertz resonator. Or if not an Arduino, maybe I can try some discrete oscillator stuff. P-channel MOSFET and NPN and PNP transistors. P-trench 25 volt 460 milliamps. 7.8 cents each. 
low level gate drive requirements so you can have direct operation in 3 volt circuits. Gate thresholds less than 1.5 volts. Shot key diodes, very tiny package. And here's a little 0603 surface mount PTC, 9 cents each. So this is rated 6 volts, 500 milliamps, and it will trip at 1 amp, which sounds like a good thing for USB 5 volt fuse protection. And I designed this into a board where I am taking 5 volts USB from an Arduino. Another convenience, if you are using Easy EDA to do a circuit schematic and or layout, you can access the LCSC part database from within here. So let's just say we're going to place a component. Let's say we're looking for a capacitor, so we just start searching for capacitor and we choose LCSC as our search engine. Not every component will show up in here and have a schematic or layout footprint, but let's say we want a 1206 surface mount package. Apply filters. There's a whole bunch. Let's just say this is the one we want. We can put it there. Now it's in our circuit, and if we click on it, there's the properties already here. And if we then later are ready to go to a board layout and we start that process, all of these footprints are ready to go. So even if you can't find the exact part, because not every LCSC part is in this library, if you know you want a 1206, but you don't want this specific part number, you could still place this and then manually change some of these other things later. I actually used this when I was doing the board design for the board that I'm going to put a couple of these parts on today. I placed them this way using LCSC parts. Then I automatically had my bill of materials with these part numbers, making it easy to order. Plus, I was able to go and just start the board layout. So in a future video, we'll look at that design flow that I went through on that project. Today, I'm just going to put a few parts on and test the boost converter. And this is intended to take about 5 volts in and give about 12 volts out. It only uses a few components, but they are tiny. So I'm just going to try my best to just to get this going. I'm going to tack the parts down one pad at a time, and if I feel I need flux, I'll use it. This diode is a lot smaller than I was expecting. It is the right component that I ordered and it's the right footprint for the board. Maybe what I should have done is print out the Gerbers one-to-one -one and see a full-scale copy of what the board's going to look like. And then I could have decided, oh, maybe these resistors and this diode are too small. Maybe I'll want to go up a size. Now I think the switching regulator will be the next component that makes sense to do. And for this one, I'm going to use some of this gel flux, partly to help with the soldering of the pins. If I'm going to go in with the iron and the pins are close together, it'll help the solder flow where it's supposed to. But also, it's more tacky, so it holds the part in place a bit when I'm trying to tack down just one pin. So the flux will be multi-purpose here. And after bringing solder to each pin to pad junction, making sure it looks connected, we're almost done. These capacitors are a lot easier to deal with, so I'll just tack these down and do the same as the other components, going back and forth with the pads until I feel I've made a good connection. This inductor footprint is relatively large, but I wanted to have the opportunity to experiment with different size and value of inductors, so I can fit a small one between these pads or a relatively large one. As I was assembling this, I realized I was using a previous version of the schematic. Originally, I was using a different boost converter, and it used these component values. So I switched to this AP3012, and the main difference is the calculation for the output voltage is based on a different reference 1.25 volts. The circuit is supposed to give 12 volts out, and with these two resistors, it used to give 12 volts out on a different chip, but with this calculation, this will give 25.2 volts out. And that's fine because the chip can do that, so I'm still going to go ahead and test it this way, and I'll know the circuit works, and I'm actually testing the chip toward its upper voltage limit. So when I give this about 4 volts in, 
it gives me 25.5 volts out, which is about a 1% difference from calculated, so looks like everything's working fine. Big thanks to LCSC for providing these parts for some of my upcoming projects. I'm very happy with this order, and I'm going to get a lot of use out of these parts. Check out the links in the description to look up some of these parts and for the discount coupon. And stay tuned to see what kind of projects I complete with these parts, including the completion of this board coming soon.